manifestation through your intention. I will be running a series of the different facets of the law of attraction and how we can manifest our aspirations, expectations and intentions. You can read my online book, Nothing is Impossible. There is a link below. Please like my video and subscribe. It is helpful. The power of intention manifests something into reality. Action and realization result from your intention. The human mind is based on feelings and emotions. Your intention becomes your thoughts. Your thoughts becomes the vehicle of putting your intention into motion. This is so, because your thoughts carry energy. Everything around us, within us and all over the universe is basically energy. And, energy is actually mind. Intention is the result of mind. Mind is energy and its consciousness is the cause of all existence. In other words, mind is the cause and creator of existence. Mind is an extension of a unified universal mind, we call God. We participate in the universal mind of creation, because we are an emanation of the universal mind. How to manifest money without having any money through pure intention? There are different ways in making money. You can opt for the traditional old school way. Or you can go the online way. But making money without having any money starts with you, your resolve, intention, belief, visualization and most importantly believing in your dream. How can you do it? It's easy. Start your own business and live a lifestyle you always dreamed of. Remote work. If you go on www.youtube.com for example, there are lots of money making schemes. Some people claim to make thousands of dollars with affiliate sites while others make thousands of dollars while they're asleep, and call it passive income. If you're serious in starting an online income, the first thing is to get a web presence by designing your own website. There are several free websites available through a simple Google search or through any search engine. Capital If you don't have capital, look around. There are actually countless rich people who would readily invest in you if you can convince them your business plan is foolproof. A broker once confided in me, I will invest in a person if I'm convinced, he or she can generate me more money than bank interest. I came up with a solid business plan and told him to buy the small newspaper I was working for, which he did, just to resell it at a higher price. He rewarded me handsomely. I got bored and moved on. To me. It's not about money. It's about the zest for life. But I guess everyone is very different. People dream of doing what they love best. Money isn't scarce. There are a lot of money in the world. And, there are a lot of ways you can get your hands on it. Almost all the people on this planet earn their money through hard work, others sell their souls and betray their own for money, some earn money illegally, while a few get richer and richer. Most people who work hard, never get rich, they are permanently in debt. Those who earn money unethically can never be happy. They must forever be on the lookout for their safety, higher security and live behind high walls. And, some of the few who are unethically stinking rich could only get rich on the backs of others. Jesus said, As you sow, so shall you reap. Whatever you are doing or thinking, it will result into a response. Thoughts have energy. It will result into favorable or unfavorable manifestation. The manifestation can result immediately or it can result after a long period. Alternatively, it might not see it materializing, but you've sowed the seed of your aspiration. Simon Gray writes in, Law of Attraction, Unleash the power and be the creator of your life, Law of Attraction, Unleash the power and be the creator of your life, Positive thinking seems not to be working and treasure maps don't lead to gold. He implies that the law of attraction is based on understanding the rules of the universe and not through mere wishful thought. Ron Gardner says in Beyond the Power of Now a Guide to, and beyond, Eckhart Tolle's teachings, there's a way out of your suffering. All problems are in your mind what about problems? They never seem to end. When I meditate, my problems are forgotten. But they return after I'm done. Am I just temporarily escaping from them? There are no problems in reality. Reality is simply what exists, and what exists is never problematic, except to a mind that identifies an aspect of it as a problem.
Is it a problem if America doesn't secure its borders and is overrun with illegal aliens? Not if you're an illegal alien. Is it a problem if your house loses 50% of its value in a real estate bust? Not to the guy who buys it from you at a bargain basement price. One man's problem is often another man's solution. E. K. Santo wrote in, How I made over $1 million using the law of attraction, your thoughts become things. You can be, do, and have anything you desire. Your thoughts attract like thoughts, ideas, and circumstances. It's all made possible by the law of attraction and creation. I use these two words, attraction and creation, in conjunction with each other because they're pretty much one and the same. Simply put, you are a magnet. All creation starts in the mind. If you want to build, create, a new house you first must think of the house in a general sense. Then, by virtue of the law of attraction you start to attract more like thoughts about the house. The more you focus, the more you continue to attract more thoughts and ideas about the house, structure, size, color, etc. The thoughts of the house in your mind have a specific frequency, much like a radio has different frequencies. When you tune to a specific radio frequency, you tune into a specific radio station. So when you tune to a specific frequency in your mind, you get back in return a similar frequency. This frequency is called a vibration, and every creation in the universe, solid, liquid, gas, etc. has its own distinct vibration. Your intention is your willpower to manifest reality.